This video is about one of the best tools that commission engineers and managers and project managers do not use, the logic network diagram. I first used these diagrams when I worked with Andrew Reed and partners on Deutsche Bank projects back in the day, 20 years ago, I guess. Shout out to Andrew Reed and partners. When you have complex systems that require milestones, tasks and actions to be taken in certain sequences, the logic network diagram is the best tool to do this, in my opinion. The diagram records all activities in logical sequence, i.e. A follows B, which follows C, and you can't sort of break the sequences. They are just pure logic. For example, the diagram here summarizes the whole lead commissioning process plus deliverables for fundamental enhanced commissioning on one page. That's a lot of information and complexity there. The diagram here lays out the logical sequence for commissioning phase of staircase pressurization systems. Again, all those steps that need to be done all laid out in one simple small block diagram. Logic network diagrams are programs of work without notation for resources or time. So think of these diagrams as dimensionless schedules or programs for you Brits. On my projects, I like to see one of these for each building system to be commissioned and a single diagram for the whole building showing the sequence of systems to be commissioned in their individual sequences and the integrated systems testing around them. In summary, logic network diagrams assist in planning and thinking, summarizing complexity. They are the first step in producing a Gantt chart. A Gantt chart without a logic network diagram behind it is just a pretty picture. And there's mostly just pretty pictures out there. Logic network diagrams are the best tool you're not using. If you want a copy of the lead commissioning process network, hit me up on LinkedIn Messenger. I'll be happy to send it to you. These diagrams can change your work life.